Allison, don't go. This was a mistake. No, no, it isn't. Trust me, I know how hard it is to get here. It's damn near impossible, and you did it. Don't run away now because of me. There are thousands of meetings. I'll find another one. Wow, yeah, but this one has the best snacks. Oh, she's a star there. Welcome back to GMA3. That was a clip from the upcoming film, A Good Person, directed by Zach Braff, starring Morgan Freeman, Molly Shannon, and Florence Pugh. The film follows a young woman, Allison, played by Pugh, as she deals with grief, addiction, and finding the strength to recover after tragedy. And here to tell us more is the woman herself. Please welcome Florence Pugh. She's here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you have played characters everywhere from the Marvel Cinematic Universe yeah. to whatever planet Dune is. <laughs> I'm like really not sure about that. Um, but this is the first one that you've actually produced and acted yeah. in. What's it like doing it's both of those amazing. things at the same time? Oh, it's amazing. You just get to be a part of it from the beginning. And I like to involve myself anyway in as much as I can in any movie. You just get to create the movie that you want to and, and you just end up being so proud when it's finished. You're like, how did we do this? <laughs> but yeah, no, fantastic, fantastic experience. So you think you'll do it again? I would I'm doing it again, yeah. I'm, I'm dipping my toe into the producing world. Oh. Uh, I oh, <laughs> a lot to learn. You know, besides uh, producing and acting, uh, you also wrote and performed uh, original songs I for did, this film. Yeah. And we also know about Flossie Rose. <laughs> you know, that's something from back in the day where you uploaded videos and, and music to YouTube. When I was a baby. Yeah, you were yeah. just a baby, but I mean, can we expect to hear more from Flossie Rose, or is it? Well, I think I may as well use my actual name now. But um, yes, I would. I'm, I'm, I'm gently coming back into it, and I'm so proud and, and happy that I, I was able to put my other form of art into this movie. Um, it was a, an amazing way of figuring out the character, and I wrote it for my character to sing and perform. And so when the movie comes out, I'll be releasing, outside of the movie, the produced versions and the recorded versions, so yeah. Well, you're and, doing everything. I mean, uh, it's so happening. busy, obviously, but what I read that when you read scripts, because yeah. you clearly get scripts that you're looking, asked to read all the time yeah. and look through, there's always a moment in the script if you accept the role that scares you Terrifies sometimes, me, is that yeah. your kind well, of litmus why, test? That yeah. If I feel scared and I don't know how I'm going to do something, I'm like, oh no, I'm going to put myself in that situation. So oh. with this um, movie, I mean, a lot of it, I think, is because of the subject matter, it's about the opioid crisis. Everything about that is like, you know, you have to make a movie that is um, honest and it's real and we have to do our research and we have to take the, the subject matter really seriously and that's obviously very scary because it means a lot to so many people. Um, but just the role was, I, mean, I think Zach wrote a very honest and open and raw role that the whole thing was a lot to take on and I was excited and scared, and scared. naturally. I have to ask you about this because I think it's something that would actually scare a lot of people, yeah. your hair. Yeah. In the movie, you actually cut your hair. I do. Were you terrified? I was so excited. Zach was more scared than I was. On the day, he even tried to give me another out. He was like, are you sure you, you sure want you to want do to this? It, right? it was so, it was just, for me, it was very important. I think for the character, we, we meet her a year later after this tragic accident. And um, it, to me, it made so much sense that she's a different person. She's a different woman. And it's, um, it's so uh, defining that you that you just now see this once upon a time hopeful character is kind of just hacking at her own life, and also in a in a in a more I mean personal way for an actor, vanity is out the window. And as an audience member watching it, you're not looking at how she's done her hair that day or or if it's clean or dirty. It's gone. She's just got these hacks and chunks. It's you can really see the visual representation of who this person is and how low they are. Nice. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. You're doing it. You're Thank rocking you. it out. Thank you. And our thanks to Florence Pugh. You can catch a good person in theaters March 24th. All right. One more time for Florence. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.